So you've decided to move to Newport Beach, but you don't know where to live. Before we get into this video, Ryan and I are licensed real estate agents. So if you're thinking about moving to this area or you have questions or need information about Newport Beach or the surrounding areas, let us know. Also, we are committed to constantly pumping out content around the Newport Beach real estate market and community. So make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell so you don't miss any future content. Now, let's get into it. So if you're thinking about moving to Newport Beach and you don't know where to start, you don't know where you wanna live, some amazing websites out there can help you get started. We have a few favorites that we'd like to go over today. The first one is the City of Newport Beach official website, which is newportbeachca.gov. This website offers official information directly from the local government. It's a website that offers insight into the city, the services, the parks, the recreation, events, city planning, development projects. Look, it's not extremely exciting information, right. but a lot of people care about this kind of stuff when they're thinking about moving somewhere long term. Yeah, especially if you're coming from a different state or a complete different county and you're like, I don't know anything about the area, this is a great way to learn and figure out where you might wanna bring your family to, right? Yeah, absolutely. The second website is the Newport Beach Chamber of Commerce. That's uh -huh. Newport Beach. Dot com. This offers insight into the business community and the local economy. Again, not insanely exciting, but relevant information for somebody who's basically picking up their family and relocating from out of the state or maybe even out of the country. Yeah, I mean, they have, uh, you know, information on networking opportunities as well. And then, you know, if you're trying to get acclimated in the area, it's a great website to check out for sure and get involved in the community too, if you're interested in doing that. Yep. And then we have our favorite website that we use and always see their posts on Instagram as well. And that's visitnewportbeach.com, which is an amazing and excellent resource in our opinion. Yeah. If you're considering moving to Newport Beach or you're just planning a visit, this is the best website in our opinion. It talks about the city's attraction, activities, dining options, mm -hmm. shopping areas, accommodations. One thing I really love about this website is that they're very, very active on Instagram. Yeah. Visit Newport Beach. So if you're a social media person on Instagram, definitely follow them because they have amazing content about Newport Beach. If you want to stay in the loop, they're like the one-stop shop. Yeah, one of the cool things that they do is like if there's a holiday weekend that comes up, they'll like, put a post out, a reel of like, this is what you should do this weekend if you're in Newport Beach. And they'll like put on there like a restaurant, a resort, a beach, and like a few different things that you can go do if you're just looking for things to do in the Newport Beach area. So I'm we're, constantly learning stuff. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff that this site talks about are the beaches and the parks, the dining and the shopping, and the events and the festivals. I mean, anything Newport Beach, you can find it here. Yeah, because there's a lot of activities, a lot of events and festivals that come up and they will pinpoint those and show you the dates and times, which is awesome. As well as accommodations on where you should stay if you're visiting from like the luxurious resorts to cozy little beachside inns. Um, they tell you everything. Whether you're on their website or you're following them on Instagram, if you're moving here, or visiting here, they're a must check out. So another way to figure out what area to move to in Newport Beach is budgets and like affordability in general. So if you're renting, um, know your budget. And if you're thinking about buying, you obviously wanna talk to a lender and get pre-approved. That's an absolute must. And it's like that across the board in real estate. I mean, we tell all of our clients to fall in love with the numbers before they fall in love with a home. And when you're thinking about Newport Beach, you have to know that there's a wide variety of product with a wide variety of price ranges. But the bottom line is, is that the cost of living in Newport Beach is higher. Yeah. So understanding what your monthly cost is and your ability to buy, if that's what you wanna do, um, out the door. Like not yeah. just what is my mortgage gonna be, but like what are my utilities gonna be and what is my insurance gonna be and what are my property taxes gonna be? That's gonna set you up for success. Knowledge is definitely power when it comes to money. Yeah, and Newport Beach, the area, there's different areas in it, so it's gonna offer something different for every different price range that you're looking for. So depending on what you're looking for, you can find homes or condos between one to two million and up to eight figures. So budget really does matter because it's gonna determine what you can even get into, right? Yep, and here's the thing about getting pre-approved is, is once you figure out exactly how much you can afford on a monthly basis, then you can start to identify which neighborhoods those homes are actually in. So it's like when you're thinking, hey, you know, I don't know if I wanna move to Corona Del Mar or Newport Coast or, you know, Santa Ana Heights. Once you understand the numbers, you can kind of start to eliminate certain areas that don't offer that product. But talking to a lender in general, 
there's a lot of benefits to it. Yeah. I mean, what are some of the benefits? Well, I mean, you, you definitely can figure out what loan program is for you because there's tons of different loan programs out there and different down payment programs as well. Um, you can figure out what your, match, your max purchase price is gonna be, how much you're gonna need to bring to the table to close and closing costs. Yep. Um, and then also monthly payment out the door like you kind of touched on. So it's the total housing cost out the door is extremely important. You're gonna figure all these out when you talk to a lender. Yeah, and for, for anyone who doesn't know this, talking to a lender is absolutely free. There's never any obligation. So when you're thinking about what area in Newport Beach to live in, Price is a huge factor. Mm -hmm. Understanding what you can afford will help you narrow down your results pretty quickly. When you're thinking about where to live in Newport Beach, it's like, where do you wanna do life and where do you work? Because those are major factors when you're thinking about where you wanna live and buy a house, right? Totally, I mean, where do your friends live? Yeah. Where do you work? Do you go to LA often? Do you go to San Diego often? Are you in the desert often? I mean, mm -hmm. like, Newport Beach is pretty big and you have to understand that from one end of Newport Beach to the other end, could be anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes depending on traffic or the time of day or if it's a holiday. Mm -hmm. So if you're living in Newport Coast and you go to LA all the time, that could add 30 to 45 minutes to your commute time. So is that important to you? Yeah, and you wanna make sure, are you, do you need to be close to like the 73, the toll roads to get in and out easily? Do you need to be closer to other major freeways? The 55 can get very backed up, Newport Boulevard going up in the summertime. Yeah. It can take you a long time. So knowing where you wanna live and your commute to where you gotta go every day for work is extremely important. Absolutely, and even where you take your kids to school, or I've had clients that are like, I need, I have special situation with my health, and I need to live next to this hospital because this hospital has a, you know, a department that does what I need and I can't be more than 15 minutes away from it. So like everybody has unique life needs. Yeah. Where do you have to live geographically is a, is a big concern. Yeah, and then also, you know, when you're thinking about where you wanna live, another amazing thing to think about is do you want new construction? or do you want an older home? What kind of property do you want? Do you want a condo? Do you want a townhome? These are all factors that you have to discuss and, and figure out before you, you know, hunker down and buy something. Mm -hmm. Newport Beach is a melting pot. I mean, do you want a large lot? Do you not want a lot because you don't want the outdoor maintenance? Um, do you want to add to the property that you're buying or do you want to have the ability to maybe tear it down or add an ADU? Are you okay with minor repairs? Are you okay with major repairs? Do you want a condo? Do you want a townhome? Yeah. These are all things you gotta talk about. Gated community gated or not? Gated community or not. Yeah, there's that. Do you wanna see the ocean? Do you wanna be near the ocean? Do you wanna peekaboo? Do you, do you want, want nothing to do with the ocean? Yeah, do you want nothing <laughs> to do with the ocean? I mean, there's, you know, if you wanna live on the peninsula, that's a complete different beast than if you're gonna live up the hill and out of the way in a nice neighborhood in East Bluff, right? There's a major difference in the lifestyle of, you know, what's going on in your neighborhood and what it's like and on a day-to-day -day basis, depending on, you know, what what you want to do. I mean, the, f the filters for the type of home you're looking for are unlimited. Every person we work with has unique needs, and that's just one more way to figure out where do I want to live in Newport Beach. A another consideration, and we talked about this a little bit, are schools. Oh yeah. Right, Newport is a very, very family-oriented area. Lots of kids, schools are very important. So what schools do you want to take your kids to? and how do you learn more about the different schools in the area? Yeah, so that comes back to websites again. Um, there's a couple amazing websites that we use all the time and we endorse. Number one is uh, greatschools.org. That one is amazing. It always has been. We've been using it for, I don't know, maybe 10 plus years at Easy. least, easily. Yep. Um, it's, it talks about the rankings of the school. You could put the address in and then it will list all of the schools right there that you're assigned to and the ratings and a little bit about them as well. And this is a huge thing for many families because schools are important and you know, luckily Newport Beach has some of the most amazing schools. Another website that we use and refer is niche.com. This website offers a comprehensive review, rankings, and statistics on all the schools in Newport Beach, and, and honestly across the United States. But it includes feedback from students, parents, and teachers, which is really cool because it gives you, the viewer, a well-rounded view of like each school's culture, academics, and extracurricular activities. So you really get to get a feel for each school. And we know that when our clients use these websites and start to narrow down which schools they want their kids to go to, that really helps them determine the area they want to live in because most schools are associated to a specific area. Right. Another very, very important part is hiring a realtor. 
right? Yes. yes. Hire a realtor. Hire a realtor if you're looking to move to the Newport Beach area. I mean, you know, real estate agents can fill in the gaps. They know the areas. I mean, obviously we're telling you about all the subtle nuances of Newport Beach. The neighborhoods, the shopping, the places to go get groceries. I mean, all of the opportunities, the community vibes, uh, the family vibe. I mean, having a realtor that knows the area is so important. And also making sure you're very specific on what you're looking for so they can help you find what you want. Absolutely. Look, all these strategies that we're talking about today are gonna give you information about the different areas that you're looking in. But when you talk about like boots on the ground, what's the vibe on the streets? Like what are the neighbors saying? Um, is the community safe? Yeah. That's where a great real estate agent comes into play. And so incorporating a real estate agent into your research is gonna help you out a lot. Not to mention, when you come, you can actually tour different properties in different areas with a real estate agent and, and learn a lot more about like the community in general. Yeah, and then another amazing tool that you can do, which is, I think, very helpful that a lot of people overlook is joining Facebook groups or forums and connect with community members and ask questions. There's a ton of different Facebook groups for Newport Beach that are associated, and you can hop on there, and that's also a great one because you know, these are people that live in these neighborhoods that are putting on events or, you know, they have businesses of their own or their kids go to that school or this school. And this is a great way to get some real raw information about really what's going on. And you can just ask questions and people can, you know, give you information. If you go through all these steps that we outlined, you're definitely going to get a great feel for where to live in Newport Beach. And I'm pretty confident that once you get pre-approved, and you figure out what schools you wanna to go to and where you wanna live, you'll be able to narrow it down to one or two great communities. Yeah. But in general, Newport Beach just has so much amazing stuff to offer that it is gonna take some time to figure out where to live. Um, but we hope this helped. If you made it to the end of the video, comment below if you have any questions about the Newport Beach area or wanna learn more about anything we discussed today. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.